How's it going, fellas? Untamed Soldier here, and welcome back to some good old-fashioned Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 gameplay. So it's up on the screen for your viewing pleasure, and this will go along with my topic. These are just some clips and some videos I had laying around on my channel, and I just thought I could just you know reuse them because you know talking about the topic right now. But uh, so let's get into this. So I just got a notification that Thunder has already made a video about the topic I'll be talking about. Damn you, Thunder. <laughs> well, so, it says that Matt Harris, the guy who has leaked some pretty accurate things about the upcoming Call of Duty Black Ops 4 game, and uh, he is saying now that Call of Duty 2019 is going to be Modern Warfare 4. Now, we haven't had a Modern Warfare Call of Duty game since 2011, MW3. And uh, that was along like the whole uh, issue with Activision and the old Infinity War team. Uh, they are claiming this because uh, some of the old folks who have worked on Call of Duty 4, Modern Warfare, and Modern Warfare 2 have returned to... Uh, Infinity Ward, sorry. They have returned to Infinity Ward and they are lending a hand for Infinity Ward's next Call of Duty game, which people are starting to say that it will be Call of Duty Modern Warfare 4. I don't really have a big issue with this. I think it's a great great idea, uh, you know, with marketing. Uh, Black Ops 4, you know, the whole Black Ops series is still holding strong and bringing back this iconic series uh, in Call of Duty Modern Warfare will actually, I feel like will actually bring in some hype. And knowing from the reactions I've seen when people were watching the Call of Duty Black Ops 4 multiplayer review trailer, they were really hoping it would be a modern type setting. Thunder wanted it, but uh, they went decided to go to the near future between Black Ops 2 and Black Ops 3. So they're putting that there. But there's still people who want a true modern era shooter. We're talking like this, some of the tech we see today, besides some of the tech we're going to see probably five years from now. Um, so I feel like this is what Infinity Ward is going to go after, is for the people who want a true modern warfare type of game. And with that being said, if they want that modern warfare setting, they're probably also going to ship with MW4, with MW2 Remastered, because... When the, the time comes when MW4 is released, 2019, it would be 10 years since MW2 has been released. So that is a possible MW4 news and leaks that's been going on within Call of Duty, the like, uh, news and stuff like that. So I'm going to end it with that topic. I'm going to start talking about a different topic. The possibility that MW2 will have a remaster by 2019. And will it work or will it not work? Uh, I feel like that if they do release this, people are going to buy it. I mean, like, a lot of people are going to play it. I mean, who doesn't want MW2 on their PS4 or their Xbox One? I mean, it's a dream come true. You can finally play MW2 again. You know, get those tactical nukes, get your Predator, get your Harrier, get your AC-130, get your uh, Harrier Strike, get your Chopper Gunner, and then get your new that way. The, you know, relive the good old days of what of when Call of Duty was in its prime, when everybody was playing it. That's the ultimate grind this game was. And it's going to be remastered, possibly. Because, obviously, I said earlier, it's going to be 10 years. So, 10 year anniversary seems kind of, you know, to make sense, right? So, you know, it's all fine and dandy, but what if it doesn't work? And, you know, what if Activision implements, you know, the current Call of Duty method that we all know today? Supply drops, possibly added weapons, uh, even buying DLC maps. That will be 10 years when this game possibly comes out. I mean... This is all the bad stuff that we don't want to see. I mean, it was ridiculous enough for having Activision actually have a price tag behind the uh, DLC maps for MWR. So, if MW2 Remaster were to be a possibility, 
all they would have to do, I repeat, all they would have to do is retouch on the textures and possibly clean up the audio so that it doesn't sound like we, what we heard back in 2009. Uh, no supply drops, no added weapons. I mean, you could put probably put only cosmetic stuff. I mean, probably, you know, have your character look different, uh, have different reticles besides just a regular red dot site on your red dot sites. Uh, you know, that's basically all it is. Just cosmetic stuff if you were to put supply drops in there. And no weapons added. If you were to put you know, added weapons, it will not be a 100% remastered game. It is just another game that was released that looked like Call of Duty, but with added stuff to it. And possibly when this remastered is, you know, possible and it comes out, do not put a price tag on the DLC map. Just release them for free. Or if you buy the, you know, MW2 remastered, the DLC maps are already in there, so you don't have to worry about downloading them again. The greed is so stupid when they have to come up with these decisions. 10 year old maps, here, give us $15 or how much it was. Activision, you have yourself a great plan here. There goes a car. You have, you know, money sitting here. You have a remastered game that everybody wants to play again, but they don't want to bust out their Xbox 360s or their PS3s and play against the same group of guys for 10 matches. Just cosmetic stuff if you were to put supply drops in it. Don't put a price tag on DLC maps. Retouch on the textures and possibly clean up the audio. That's all you have to do. And then you have money sitting right there after you guys are done developing this remaster. With that and NW4, it will be a great year for Infinity Ward. So it's not another disappointing year. So that's enough me talking about possibly MW4 and possibly MW2 coming out in the near future. So if you guys like this video, give it a like, obviously. If you guys are new, hit that subscribe button. And I'll see you guys in the next video I ever make. Stay awesome and have a good one.